everybody, I'm Bree the Plant Lady and I am checking in with a Prunus Mume update. We are in the final days of December. We have just had another inch and a half of rain, which of course makes my heart very happy. And we've had really nice mild temperatures for about the last week. And that of course has resulted in a bunch of winter blooming plants bursting into flower. I specifically wanted to do an update on the Prunus mumes or the Japanese flowering apricots because they are always the first to bloom and they are starting right on time. Now everybody always thinks that this is way too early and it's not. This is totally normal. This has nothing at all to do with climate. This is their natural cycle. I've got five different cultivars in my garden, two of which are showing color and I wanted to show you the stages of all five. So if you're growing these, you'll be able to anticipate all the beauty and the fragrance that will be abounding your garden very soon. So without further ado, let me turn this camera around and show you the beautiful Prunus Mumes. Well, we've had cloudy skies for several days, but they have cleared and I looked out the window and saw the Bonita, which two days ago hardly had any flowers open. And now you can really see it's showing off with that beautiful Carolina blue sky behind it. So as you can see, the flowers are open, but what you can't probably see from this video are all the honeybees that are floating around gathering nectar. And this is one of the things that makes this tree so spectacular, is that it provides food source for winter active insects, including the non-native honeybee. And of course, Prunus mumes are Asian. Uh, they do really well here in central North Carolina. They're a bit difficult to source in the nursery trade, which really is too bad because I think everybody deserves to have a Prunus mume in their gardens. And why have one when, well, when you can have five. <laughs> in full bloom, but let's do a quick stroll to see how the other Prunus mumes look, because I know I saw some open flowers on Matsubura Red. All right, we have another Prunus mume here, which is very difficult to see right now. This is Bridal Veil. It's a weeping form, and well, you can tell it's not quite open yet. We've got lots of flower buds, but no open flowers yet. All right, as we round this corner, oh yes, the Matsubura Red is definitely starting to have fully open flowers. Of course, it's easier to capture when the sun is actually shining darkly on it. But let me climb up on the table and give you an up close view. Well, it's nearly impossible for me to get up close and personal with this and to actually show you what these flowers look like because there's not enough open and the sun is going down rapidly. However, I am so happy to see that a few flowers are open. Basically, this is at the stage that Bonita was at two days ago. And you can see how many flowers have opened in the past like 48 hours on that tree, which means a few days from now, Matsubura Red is going to be really showing off. Now let me show you the status of my other two varieties, Josephine and Pink Panther. All right, Josephine is the tree that I am walking around that you can see against the blue sky there. And of course, this is a tree that got heavily pruned last summer from our arborists. They did such a great job limbing it up. Of course, it's gonna make it impossible for me to actually get any flowers off of this because, well, the branches are so high. However, I am not seeing any open blooms. All of the buds look fat and ready to pop open. So I am betting that if this nice mild weather continues, 
This will be in full bloom in probably less than a week. And then walking to the Pink Panther, which is this tree right here. That's always the last one to flower. I do see that the buds are getting plump, but again, I don't see any open blooms yet. This just might be one of those years where they all bloom relatively early and at the same time. This has happened before with mild weather where all the Prunus mumes flower in early January, and then that will interrupt their fruiting cycle. So the reason that Prunus mumes are called the Japanese flowering apricot is because they flower and when pollinated and with the right temperatures, they will actually set fruit. Now they're smaller than the apricots that you're used to buying at the grocery store, but they do set an apricot-like fruit. So in Japan, these fruits are often fermented and made into a sweet liqueur or wine, which we have been enjoying. Our friend Shun, who's a plant breeder at NC State, gave this to us. And it's a great kind of after dinner, almost like a dessert substitute. And you can see that it actually has the fruit inside the bottle. Now, every now and again, we get a fruiting cycle here in Central North Carolina. It is certainly not regular and every cultivar is a little different, but basically what happens is they flower like they are now and inevitably we will have more cold temperatures that will either influence the flowers getting pollinated or disrupt the fruit set. Now in 2020, we had a really mild season. Now it wasn't exceptionally warm early on in spring, but winter also wasn't really cold. And that was the first time that my trees actually set fruit and they did so in abundance. Unfortunately, they were really hard to collect and they all fell on a thunderstorm and they were bruised and not really um, like in shape for consuming. And then they all germinated. And I actually dug most of those seedlings up and have sold them at various open gardens Knowing that they're open pollinated, I have no idea what flower color they will be, but I didn't want to, you know, waste the opportunity to be able to share these plants with others because they're such wonderful trees. Now, my inclination is to think they're starting to bloom now in the end of December. It's probably unlikely that they will successfully set fruit, but I guess you never know, so time will tell. I will definitely keep posting video updates of the Prunus mumes right here in my home garden in Fuquay, Verena, North Carolina. And I do hope that you'll be inspired to include them in your collection. Prunus mumes are reliably hardy in zones six through nine. And again, they do really well here in the Southeast of the United States. With that one exception of when they set fruit and seeded, they've actually never had an invasive tendency at all. And of course, I viewed those seedlings as being precious, so I would still not call them invasive. <laughs> well, everybody, I hope that you will plan to subscribe and tune in as more and more things begin to bloom at the very beginning of the winter season. This is a wonderful time of year to live in the Southeast, and I hope that you'll be inspired to keep out and go out into your gardens and enjoy. Thanks so much for watching, everybody.